Good morning, everybody. Freaks and freakettes. Welcome back to emotions. Um, oop, made a mistake again. <laughs> oh my god, this is when you try to be this person that's you see on YouTube that just seems to be so good at these videos. <laughs> it's not me. Obviously, they're doing a lot of editing, I believe, and, and I've already decided that I'm not going to do that because if I do editing and I look at all these little things that I may say, do, whatever, I'll never get these videos done. It'll take me forever. I'm such a perfectionist, or I can be. Um, but I just, I just want to move forward. I just want to be me, so... Anyway, let's start again. Welcome to my channel, or welcome. Um, today's a beautiful day outside here in, in Nova Scotia. The sun is shining. It is cold. I drove my son to school this morning. Um, should have done it yesterday, so a bit of cold, but we never had the car cleaned up or nothing. Never had the driveway done, so I did it this morning. Um, gave him a drive. Um... And hopefully this is what his second day of the second semester here in, in high school here in the area. So he's doing very well. He uh, uh, he likes he likes to learn. I guess that's the main thing. He likes to learn, but he doesn't necessarily like how the school is is um, teaching yada yada. But you know, it is what it is, as he says. So moving away from that, um, today's February 7th, 6th, 2nd. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking coffee. I need more. <laughs> One second. <laughs> um, I was trying to figure out how I would present or how I would do these daily videos because I'm hoping to do it daily. And I thought, you know what, why not just... How do we start a basis of a conversation? Um, just to talk about, just to talk about how we are doing emotionally, and mentally. I mean, how's your mind today? How do we even get to that discussion? So, I thought I'll just grab. I have a few reflection books. I am not encouraging, discouraging, promoting anything along these reflection uh, for these reflection books or these programs, but um, I do know when I did first start reading them daily and thinking about them um, and attending different support groups are very, very beneficial for me because that's all you can do is take each day as it comes. The old slogan or the old saying, one day at a time. Um, I know when my dad used to talk about He'd say that to me fairly often, one day at a time, one day at a time. And I would think, please, Lord, what the hell drives me crazy? Because I don't know. I hear what he's saying. But, I mean, it sounds stupid. You know, one day at a time. Well, of course it's one day at a time. That's all you can do, right? But it's about the mindset of one day at a time. Because what can you do about yesterday? And what is going on in the future? I mean... You can't control that either. You know, it's about each day as it comes. So, I'm going to read the reflection for today um, out of one of my books. And I know they'll speak about a lot of reflection books. Unless you get totally non-spiritual books. They're going to speak about a higher power, especially in anonymous books. Anonymous program books, they'll speak about a higher power. I'll just address that right away. Um... A higher power is what you want that to be. Um, I mean, that's a very personal situation. Um, I have personally, I won't get into all of that, but my belief system and faith system has personally has changed so much from one degree to the other over my, over my lifetime until the age that I am now. And uh, 
basically I, I don't I don't have a belief in a power above us except for I don't know mind over matter it's another little thing that people may say sometimes but anyway to each its own I'm not pr promoting anything along those um, along those uh, lines and I'm not not encouraging so whatever anyway I don't know if that any makes any sense whatsoever but anyway here we go I'm gonna read this little reflection okay and just bear with this in the northern part of the United States uh, we honor a kind of silly tradition called Groundhog Day on this date February 2nd Groundhog Day happy Groundhog Day everybody as the legend goes, this small animal comes out of hibernation to see if he can see his shadow. If the sun is shining, he runs back into his hole, and that is supposed to mean six more weeks of winter, which no one wants. Well, some people may want it, but majority does not. The groundhog reminds me of myself in my early, do I say recovery days, pre-programmed days is what, is in this book do I say in my early recovery days or yeah in my early days um, I was afraid of my own shadow I was afraid of my past my present and my future I believe the remaining of my life would be all winter <laughs> there was no love to warm me or any to kindle a spark of energy, to set my inner furnace working. I have learned I have nothing to be afraid of because I have a higher power or a better mindset or whatever belief system you have. My life has grown to include all four seasons, summer, fall, winter, and spring. So basically when I, I uh, reflect on this, this is, um, once again, I'm reading this to have a basis for a conversation. Sometimes I won't, it just, we'll just see. So, um, basically when I look at this reflection, it makes me think about those days when I didn't see light. All I seen in my own mind was the negativity the heaviness, the coldness, the emptiness, the darkness of winter. Um, there was no light at the end of the tunnel. And those dark, dark days of my life, which I like to remind myself of, it sounds strange. I know some people that don't understand this type of support in a peer way, on a regular Way, in a regular way, they don't understand why people would want to reflect, talk about, or think about the worst days mentally of their life or different parts of their lives, the real hard mental dark days or dog, the dark dog days. Um, why would you want to think about that? And the reason why I think reflecting on those times is because it reminds you where you've been when you where you can go and the importance of keeping yourself healthy um, and so I don't I don't want to go I never want to go back to where I was there was moments in my life where I couldn't get out of bed I didn't cook meals. I didn't care for my house. I was angry, frustrated. Um, let that known. Everybody knew that in the household. Um, sometimes I was numb, slept all the time, did not face the world, did not want to face the world. I, um, I just thought that the spring and the summer would never come. 
that just I was ready to just settle into living in the winter of the darkness all the time. And uh, some of those moments, it's kind of like you remember the heaviness, you remember the darkness, you remember the ache and the pain and the, the way your mind was so heavy, slow, I don't care. It's hard to describe unless you've been there. And if you've been there, and I'm hoping that these talks will be peer-to-peer. -peer. If you've been there, you kind of understand. You know, some people will say, like, when you have a baby, you know, that pain is the worst. At the time, you're thinking, I'm never doing this again, blah, blah, blah. And then afterwards, you forget, not forget, you kind of, you remember it, but you really forget. So I don't want to forget, but I find it hard to describe what it's like. It's just such a heavy, heavy, sad, empty, worthless heartache. It's like a heartache. You know, some people say, and I'm going to say that a lot. Some people say, some people say, oh, um, anyway, um, it's people talk about how people died from a broken heart. What does a broken heart feel like? To me, it kind of feels like depression deep dark hole that you feel like you can never crawl out of that even though there's people around wanting to talk to you and want to help you and want to give you all kinds of advice how you can get yourself out of that hole you hear them but for the most part I know I knew these things emotionally. I knew them, but I just couldn't pull myself out of there until I was ready or until I was kind of forced to be ready. You know, like, meaning I wasn't caring for my, my child. Um, you know, when you're kind of forced in a way to get your shit together without having a child gosh it's when I think about how deep of a dark hole I would have got in and what that would have looked like it's scary it's really really scary when I think about that but I do know that um, there's hope there's hope you just got to pull strength where you need to pull strength from. And, and, and just remember that you're not, think about that you're not the only one that's been there. That it takes a long time to pull yourself out. Um, step by step. Little by little. You can do it. I seriously can. I did. And I did it more than once. <laughs> um, and basically, what I do with myself is if I find myself going down that hole, I'll give myself a couple of days. I give myself permission. It sounds different, but I give myself permission to go in that place just for a little while, you know, because it is, it's not something you can just snap yourself out of, um, that dark feeling, and it doesn't necessarily, if you struggle with um, depressive disorder, anxiety disorder like myself, 
It's not something you snap your fingers out of. Sometimes it's situational. Sometimes it comes from nowhere. Um, you can't even explain, like, why in the world do I feel this way when everything in my life is great? You know, I have a great job, a great relationship. I, I have, I'm financially secure. I have all these things. Why in the world would I just feel nothingness? Like nothing matters. Like I don't want to do anything. Like, why would I feel that way? Why would I get in my head, you know, and round and round and round I go like a hamster wheel? Or I call it stinking thinking. And you get in there and you, you just go through this circle and circle and circle. And, you know, or you just don't want to get up and face the day. So currently, my what works for me, I find, is I don't fight it per se. Uh, my strategy is I give myself a couple of days to just be there, sit in it, reflect a little bit, but then I force myself to, that's enough, Melinda, you got to get up. You got to face this day. You got to do those dishes. You got to do this laundry. You've got to visit that person. You've got to, um, even if it's simple things like having a shower, doing the dishes, reading a book, something, um, going for a drive, you know, those simple things lead to next little simple things, the next little steps. So that's what I do because depression and anxiety, depressive disorder and anxiety is a lifetime for me. It's a lifetime of reminder of strategy of of um, remembering I keep repeating myself here um, I know these videos as time as time goes on are going to be easier for me but I find currently <laughs> I'm just jumbling my words and I'm all over the freaking place for freak's sakes anyway let me look at this book um yeah there was no love to warm me or no hope to spark a kind of energy and it's true there is times when you feel like there's absolutely no deep love in your life that nothing is going to change that it's just a repetitive circle over and over and over and over again um, that what's the point you know but there is light at the tunnel. Keep checking in. You, um, others have been there. Myself and other people. There's lots of peers out there that have been there. So that's that reflection. Now, let's see. I think I'll just look at, something flew out of my book there. Um, at the very back of this book, I think I just want to look at the slogans. The slogans from um, pro, um, anonymous programs I find very beneficial for various anonymous programs. Um, and I kind of use them as a mantra in my head. You know, I think about them when I'm instantly in a situation to try to to try to help me reflect. And, and steer towards the negative thinking more than positive thinking. So I will look at this slogan, first things first. First things first. It's a beautiful one for me, beautiful. Um, I always, prior to um, recovery, I always seen things as a massive amount of things that I had to do. I have to do this. I need to go there. I, I can't do, I got work. I got laundry. I got this, the kids, the this, the that. Um, plus the car needs this and I need to get insurance and I need to do this and I need oil and I don't have the money and I need bread and I need this. And, and it would go on and on and on in my mind, you know, 
that it seems like you never, ever, it was always this big, massive load, and it never felt like it was being removed from my shoulders. And these sorts of things are things that lead you into a state of, of darkness, right? So one of those ways that helped me was the slogan, first things first. So each day, if you have a lot of things going on now, see, it's interesting because I used to have to actually physically, maybe sometimes write those things down. What's the first thing I need to do um, to get me through this day or what's, or let's write the list and where do I start so I'm not overwhelmed because that's what it is. It's about trying to fix the overwhelming feeling of so much that you just give up. Um, now I find myself in a place where I don't need to write those things down. I don't need to um, think about all the different things. Um, I just kind of know instinctively now, which is interesting because I never really thought about it that way. But I just kind of know instinctively that each day I just got to look at what I have to do first. And then what do I do next? Prioritize the few things and not think about tomorrow, right? I know tomorrow's coming and I know I got to do that tomorrow, but I'm not going to stress about it today. What's the point, right? I mean, all it's going to do is cause me more anxiety and stress. I mean, if I have to do something to prepare for tomorrow, like pack for a trip, which I love that I'm having the opportunity to do that in my life now, um, that's one thing. But um, you can only take each day as it comes. You can only prepare or one day at a time. What can you do today to make life easier? What is the first thing I need to do today to make my life easier, more successful. Like right now, the first thing I'm doing today is I'm having my coffee. What's the rest of my day going to look like? I have no clue. The reason why is because I don't have a scheduled day. And I'll talk about that because that can look, that's a totally different thing. Without a routine and schedule really throws things off in your life. If your whole life you've had that, like I've got to go to work and these are my days off and this is what I do. And in the evening I come home and I do this, that, and the other thing. But um, when you don't have that, it, it, it uh, yeah, it really messes things up. So currently, my lifestyle, which I'm privileged to have, is right now I'm just having my coffee. I don't have a plan, per se. Um, there's a few things I'll probably accomplish. Um, not that I'm not doing nothing. I don't want to make it look like I'm not doing nothing. But um, I don't, I take the day as it comes. And then I make adjustments as the day comes. Because I guess it's the old saying, go with the flow. I'm not steadfast in the belief that this has to be now and that has to be now and this has to be then. Because if you get that thinking, then that's when all the stress and anxiety comes up. Because you can't, you can't shift um, and change, you know, you got to be able to change and shift with the day, with the moment, with the weeks. You got to be able to do that because that's a struggle. A lot of people really struggle with change. So I feel like at this point I'm rambling on and I don't want to make these videos too long because I'll lose people. So please like and subscribe. Um, one thing you're going to do today Remember the slogan, first things first. What's the first thing you need to accomplish today? And the next and the next. Yesterday's already happened. Tomorrow will come. If we're blessed, tomorrow will come. And uh, that's it. Just worry about today. It's the first thing you need to do today. Then what's the next thing I need to do today? What is the prioritized thing I need to take care of today? So thank you, everybody. Goodbye. And thank you for checking in. Please like, please subscribe. Bye.